Hey guys, Anthony here from Triple XRC Garage. Why am I wearing these? It's summer, what can I tell you? Anyway, um, so we did a little work, uh, doing a little work a little bit different this time around. Uh, not working on the Gen 8 or the TRX4. Did a little something else. Um, we're working on the SCX10 too. Yeah, I said SCX10 too. Anyway, I got a hold of this SCX10, and I'll show you the chassis. So I got a hold of this SCX10, and it was done up nice and had this body that's on this other truck now. And uh, thought about changing the axles and stuff, but then I started thinking, you know, change the axles, then I got to put pan hard, then I got to do this, got to do that, to make it an SCX10 too. Might as well just get an SCX10 too. So I traded, um, it's funny because I traded my Gen 8, the blue body. But I traded it back to the guy who got it. I got it from, and uh, he was wanting it back. And so I got a CRC SCX10 II, and I'll show you a photo right here. Okay, so I wasn't keeping it that way. Sorry, guys. I mean, I like my Jeeps, but that's not was not what the intention for this is. So, what I ended up doing is setting it up, and this is it here. So, well, when I got this thing, it had a orange Rock 412 brushless centered motor in it. Great motor. Problem is, it's not waterproof. So. Um, I, I didn't want to take it apart and waterproof it and take that chance at not being waterproof or whatever. Um, the truck came from South Florida where they don't really run in water anyway. Not like we do up here in North Carolina. So I went ahead and picked up uh, a Holmes Hobby brush suspension motor to go on the Tekken ESC I already have. So I had a Tekken R uh, RX4. So I went ahead and cut the wires and and done it upright. And let me show you what it looks like here. So this is the way the motor came with this. Now I know this is supposed to be white. I didn't have white shrink wrap, so I made it yellow to match, color match. And I went ahead and soldered the bullets onto this already. These were long wires, so I just cut them and shrink wrap them so that way they will look good and neat and nice. Uh, this is the 1700 kV uh, motor and uh, so the next things are happening to this truck it's like so far I switched out I took out the um, the what do you call it the, uh, the stock motor stock transmission from the SCX 10 2 so this was the CRC transmission uh, it's a plastic housing, it's supposed to have metal gears, so I haven't even opened it up. But I went ahead and put the Vanquish transmission that was in the SCX-10 II over there. So I put the Vanquish transmission on here and found me another cover, put the cover on so I didn't have exposed gear. So that's what I did with this. So the next thing I'm going to have to do, oh, I did have to do some changes because apparently this transmission, somehow or another, this drive shaft sits a little different between that and using the stock skid plate. So as you can see here, I put a high profile, you know, high clearance one in here. So when I did that, I think it shifted the transmission up higher. So it was causing the drive shaft to hit the battery box. Well, I run the short Helios batteries. So I went ahead, just trimmed the box, cut the back off, moved it forward, screwed it back down. So now it's, it's still a solid box. It's just that it's for a shorter battery. So now the drive shaft's not going to be eaten up. And uh, what else did I do to it? So what's next on the agenda? Uh, we're going to be losing these housings. I'm going to go with SSD housings here. And I got to get the uh, brass, uh, C, the brass C-hub here. Already got the turn thing here. It's brass, but I want to get the brass inner parts too. So that, got incision links coming for it and uh, may 
I'm not sure if I'm doing it right away or may end up doing it later, but I'm going to be putting a overdrive and an underdrive, overdrive in the front axle, underdrive in the rear axle. So by the time I'm done with this thing, this thing's going to be one crazy wicked truck. Um, so that's what's on the agenda for this thing. Um, uh, I still like TRX4s and, and the Gen 8s and their portal axles, but I'll tell you what, for just not being portal, this thing still does pretty decent. So that's what's on the agenda this thing here. I also put a 25 kg servo on this as well. So, and these are incision shocks, which it had the stock pro shocks that came off of the, this rig originally. So I put the incisions on here. So working on it, um, not, the only thing I'm actually getting new is gonna be the links. Other than that, everything else was already on the other body. And so I'm just slowly changing things out and making it work. So anyway, that's it. Um, I'm gonna show you some footage of it running. I didn't do a whole lot of crawling with it today. Uh, the mosquitoes were extremely bad where we were at. And, but I am going to show you some footage of this thing. This thing crawls pretty good. Um, and I also want to uh, reach out you guys and let you know that you should check out Eddie D's Outdoor TV. Um, he does some pretty decent video and I tell you I, I love his editing. Uh, he does good good stuff. Check it out. Good guy. Another another good guy out there is uh, Fern Solo. He's out of Atlanta. That's his decal there. Um, check him out as well. Uh, these are great guys. They're in the crawler family. They do crawling a lot. Eddie likes to do some uh, kayaking and other stuff too. But if you go to his tiny truck video pay a part of his YouTube channel, you'll find all his crawling stuff there. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, have fun with RCs. And I'll be getting more video out there for you next week.